November 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 3 John, Chapter 1 of the New Testament. From the Elder to Gaius, my dear brother, whom I love in truth. Dear friend, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health, just as it is well with your soul. For I rejoice greatly when the brothers came and testified to your truth, just as you are living according to the truth. I have no greater joy than this, to hear that my children are living according to the truth. Dear friend, you demonstrate faithfulness by whatever you do for the brothers, even though they are strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on their way in a manner worthy of God. For they have gone forth on behalf of the name, accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such people so that we become co-workers in cooperation with the truth. I wrote something to the church, but Diotrephes, who loves to be first among them, does not acknowledge us. Therefore, if I come, I will call attention to the deeds he is doing, the bringing of unjustified charges against us with evil words. Not being content with that, he not only refuses to welcome the brothers himself, but hinders the people who want to do so and throws them out of the church. Dear friend, do not imitate what is bad, but what is good. The one who does good is of God. The one who does what is bad has not seen God. Demetrius has been testified to by all, even by the truth itself. We also testify to him, and you know that our testimony is true. I have many things to write to you, but I do not wish to write to you with pen and ink, but I hope to see you right away and we will speak face to face. Peace be with you. The friends here greet you. Greet the friends there by name. God, I guess it's a little bit reassuring to know that people have had to deal with pain in the butt people. (laughs) since before the time of John. You know, in this particular case where they're talking about diatrophies and obviously a, a problem child, uh, John's really clear to talk about what to do with these problem children, obviously talking to them. But he says really clearly, don't imitate what is bad, but imitate what is good and what is good is of God. I think one of the things that we do so easily is we revert back to our humanness when we're offended. If somebody says something about my family, if somebody says something about my faith, somebody says something about my business, my first reaction is automatic is that my feathers are ruffled. And I'm going to defend those things. I'm going to defend you. I'm going to defend my family. I'm going to defend my business. But you're really clear about not basically lowering yourself to the level of people who are attacking you. And in fact, taking it one step further throughout the Bible, you talk about us not only not lowering ourselves to that level, but the fact that we are witnesses to those people and how we treat them and how we respond to them is our witness statement. (sighs) Holy cow. (laughs) That's a pretty big overwhelming statement to understand that when our natural inclination as human beings is to respond in defense, you're like, no, you respond out of love. You respond out of reflection of me and how much I love you. You respond with forgiveness and grace and mercy. And you also be really clear that you are my spokesperson down there on earth. And how you're responding to that person is going to reflect on my kingdom. God, this is one of those sounds really good on paper. And we agree with what you're saying. But it is so incredibly hard to do, especially in the heat of the moment. We will definitely need to call on the strength that you have promised us. The desire to do what pleases you in these situations. And God, I just pray that the next time a situation like this comes up, that we respond with grace and kindness and love and forgiveness if that's what's needed. We may not understand completely why that person 
is attacking us, attacking our family, attacking our business, attacking our faith. And I would even go so far as to say we never completely understand why they're doing that because we haven't walked in their shoes. We haven't been part of their life. Even if you've completely been some part of somebody's life, you still don't quite understand all the filters that they have gone through in order to make those decisions, good or bad. So we don't know the full spectrum of why they are causing us pain. What we need your help with is remembering at that moment that we are called to love people. That yes, it's not acceptable for people to cause us intentional pain, but we are still a reflection of your kingdom. We are on our mission 24 seven, whether we realize it or not. And everything we say, everything we do, our actions, our words, everything reflects directly on your kingdom, God. God, allow those words and actions to be at least a small percentage of this amazing, endless love that you have for us. Allow us to reflect what your will here on earth should be. In your son's name I pray. Amen.